All right, so generally when talking about hill climbs and going uphill, everyone always talks about what's peculiar, what's peculiar is the most important thing, you just gotta lose weight, gain power, you're all gonna go faster up the hill. And now that often is true, but it's not exclusively true. Now I wanna show you two cases of where, well, one case where what's peculiar is not incredible. So first we're gonna go on to University of Bristol Cycling Club hill climb. Now this is a very, well, for my opinion, it's very flat hill climb, really. Um, it's about uh, 1.3 kilometers, around 8%. Uh, I got slightly different. I think it's a little bit shallower than that. I think it's more like 7%. Okay, 8%. All right, so you, you're basically absolutely flying up the climb, um, really. You're sort of going 25, 26. It says, I'm not sure why my speed is that low, but anyway, we'll, we won't argue because apparently I was going 25 up it. But anyway, you're going fast. That's what I'm going to say. Up these climbs, you are going fast. So you can see here, 25 k's an hour here. Um, I think probably it just includes the beginning part, this bit here, 27 k's an hour. Um, that might be wrong, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a fast climb for sure. And then we also have another hill climb, uh, which is the National Hill Climb Championships, um, which again is a lot steeper, um, similar distance, two minutes 44. It's, I'd say it's, uh, this is probably 30 seconds longer, more or less. Um, uh, sorry, the Belmont was um, the Bristol one compared to the Nationals. And this was, you can see an average speed of 16 kilometers an hour where what uh, aerodynamics is incredibly less important. Um, so anyway, we're gonna compare me and my friend. So anyway, old Jamie on his, uh, had an absolute stunning ride, got sixth on the University of Bristol, got out of like 100, so mega ride. 256, 519 watts, right? Myself, didn't have such a good ride, got 21st, not, not terrible, and I held 450 watts, which as we got on the little chart, I was 60 kilos on the day, um, so that was about seven and a half watts per kilo. Um, and I got beaten by a good 20 seconds, I think it must have been. I think I got 313. So yeah, a good a good 20 seconds. Um, and he did 519 watts, which if you look about it, it's about the same watts per kilo. But I got destroyed by how much? Like 20 seconds? Uh, which I guess maybe the power meters weren't reading 100%. But what I'm trying to say is that on this climb, watts per kilo does not matter nearly as much as just pure watts because you're going so much faster, like, it just doesn't, like when Simon Richardson, he, he chose this hill, what was the fastest? All the aero kit, he had zip 858s, aero bike, um, he, like that was the whole point, is that these on climbs like this, watts per kilo does not matter nearly as much as people think it does. Obviously if you weigh 80 kilos and do 600 watts, you're not probably gonna do, no sorry, if you weigh like 100 kilos and do 600 watts, let's say, you're probably not gonna do that well. But if you're like 70 kilos and doing similar watts per kilo to a really light guy, then you're gonna do well. Having said that, I think the guy who came second did the same watts as me and beat me by like 30 seconds, Cameron Biddle, but he probably weighs like 55 kilos or less. Um, so obviously watts per kilo does matter to a certain extent, but it's not the only thing on these flatter climbs. Pure watts is better. That's why you'll see heavier riders do well on these ones because number one, they probably have good watts per kilo and number two, it's just a faster climb. So now we're going over to the national championships, which was a lot steeper climb. Um, and we will see what happened. So again, on the day, for my effort, 475 watts, so about eight watts per kilo, a little less than eight watts per kilo, um, which is decent. And then if we look at Jamie, he did 7.62 watts per kilo, 530 watts. So he did 60 watts more. Um, and on this one, he did again, I guess I did about 60 watts more again. I did 450, he did 520. So you can see it's a good 60 watts clear of me, but on the Belmont, absolutely destroyed me 20 seconds into me. On this, I beat him by like five seconds because it's steep and suddenly watts per kilo actually matters. So you can see, I mean, I only beat him by like five seconds, so it's pretty, pretty marginal to be honest. Um, but you can see 7.6 to 7.9, maybe I was 61, 60, I don't know exactly. I'm pretty sure I was 60, just judging on what my weight was going towards that week. But obviously I didn't weigh myself on the day because I was staying at a friend's house. Um, but yeah, so around 7.9, 7.8 watts per kilo. And you can see 0.3 watts per kilo, five seconds, it's probably, probably a little bit too much, so I was probably more like 7.7, because .7, five seconds is pretty pretty uh, marginal on this climb. Like, uh, So anyway, that's my sort of ramblings for the day. Watts per kilo, does it matter? Yes, it is a very long climb. Um, basically, it matters when the speed is slower. So the faster the speed, the less watts per kilo matter. On a 1% gradient, watts per kilo doesn't really matter that much. On a 100% gradient, well, no, I mean, it doesn't exist. A 25% gradient, watts per kilo is everything because the aerodynamics is very small, the rolling resistance is very small, so it really is just power to weight. So if you are a heavier rider, you can definitely do well on a climbs. Um, like Demonic Dan, he's like 86 kilos and destroys people on climbs and is one of the fastest climbers um, 
I've seen he's like a, for, um, for his weight like a spe- well just one of the fastest climbers ever really um, I've seen like on a bike he's climbs incredibly well and it's very heavy at the same time you can be like 50 kilos and do very well in short gradients as Cameron Biddle showed so all in all your, your weight doesn't really matter that much to be honest as long as you're pushing big watts you're going to be doing well and if you're a light rider find long climbs um, so your the speed's not as much or short climbs um, which are very steep um, so the, the speed is the main thing if you, when watts per kilo matter so anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy this vid and I'll see you in the next one